Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Virgo. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So, Virgo, you could have someone new coming in, or this could be someone old. Okay, so a, an ex or a past love. I feel like you, either way, whether this is someone new or someone old, you are questioning whether or not to let this person back in your life because I feel like you made a rule. <laughs> I, keep, I feel like you made a rule, but you're tempted to break it. So it's like maybe you were hurt badly by someone in the past um, and, oh, and or even this, if this is a past one, a past love coming in. Um, maybe they hurt you so um, and maybe you made this rule well, you know that's it for me I'm done with relationships you know um, so uh, it's possible that you uh, made this rule you weren't going to get in relationships anymore um, uh, into serious relationships and uh, uh, and now you're tempted to break that rule. Um, it could be also that um, maybe the rule was I'm never gonna never gonna fall in love again. You know, um, there is something that you set up in your mind, some statement, some rule uh, that you are now tempted to. Uh, retract or break okay and uh, if this is someone new it's like bang love at first sight you see them bang right away oh my god uh, you know this is the one um, and you're uh, this is probably why you're so tempted or if it's even if it's someone from the past if you see them again you run into this person again uh, and you, that's how it's going to happen you're just going to run into this person whoever this is and um you feel that you know uh <laughs> you feel that tug on your heartstrings so um here you are assessing uh breaking a rule or retracting something that you said and were stubbornly sitting on um, and wondering if you should re-enter into the scene. Now this could be re-entering the dating scene or re-entering uh, a relationship. You see something something happens that's beyond your control it's intervening in your situation it it's fate <laughs> it's fate and it's going to offer you a new opportunity and you're going to be very tempted by it but at the same time you may be fearful of it okay um there's serendipity over here and the hand of fate here working together <laughs> so um let me see. Here you are uh, thinking. You're looking at the person. They're on the outside. They're looking in at you and they're wanting in. And you're looking at the idea of letting this person in. Mm, but maybe you don't quite trust it or you're not quite ready or you don't have all of the answers that you are seeking when it comes to uh, this, uh, getting into this relationship with this person. Um, so here we see that you're resistant. Um, maybe with this card and this card, the Sphinx and this Queen of Wands, they're both about mysteries, you know, um, they're both about mysteries and it's about solving, figuring something out, a puzzle, trying to puzzle something out. You definitely want to go there. So you definitely want to take this offer 
but there's just this something that's holding you back. Um, and I think you're still maybe dealing with some ghosts of the past because you've been hurt, you know. Um, because here we have the Four of Wisdom. And the Four of Wisdom is about... Um, it's about, well, okay, let's say this person, uh, let's say somebody comes back from your past, you're wondering, uh, or even somebody new, it can apply in any case, uh, that maybe they just want something or to get something from you and then they'll be gone, you know? Um, that could be what you're thinking. You're not trusting. Yeah, see, this is um, some very deep repressed emotions possibly that are affecting uh, your decision, how you're feeling, what you're thinking. So here you are. You're up in this tower up here, and you're trying to get the lay of the land. You're seeking a direction uh, with the star being here. You're seeking a direction, seeking hope. Maybe you're just, you know, you're hoping that this could work out or that this is true, that, that they really do want to be in a relationship with you. Whatever this is, you're hoping that something uh, is true and that it could work out and that, you know, you would get your wish in the end, right? But you have that little uh, shadow of a doubt and... um so you need to kind of nip that in the bud. You need to find out why you're feeling that way because you're, you're guarded. We see that. So there's a faded event coming in. Uh, somebody is being put right in front of you. They're, they're going to put them right in front of you. And you will most likely hold back resisting. Um, there's the, um, Esclamant de Foi. So, Esclamant de Foi is like the, um, the Empress. So, this is about, a uh, growth. It's, uh, okay, she can also be, now that I'm looking at this card, she can also be, it is about growth, but I mean, it can also be about obsessive thoughts. And since I have that Nine of Swords, um, I'm going to say that she's obsessively worried over what she will reap from this uh, should she decide uh, to do this. Um, and so she's burdened. Um, she's burdened by all of these uh, ghosts of the past here. Yeah. the oracle so the oracle um, asks you to uh, seek wisdom through uh, through different channels to pay attention to the signs um, especially that the, the star is here obviously the hand of fate the star serendipity I feel like the fates are trying to guide you. There could be a lot of emotions with the moon standing in the way. Uh, so emotions could be affecting this decision. And you don't want to miss this opportunity that's being given to you here. Okay, so be, be careful of the emotions um, because they are what's driving these thoughts, some deep repressed emotions. Um having to do with uh, ghosts of the past. Because the ghosts of the past ultimately are, <clears throat> excuse me, what, um, what has created the thoughts you're thinking at this moment when it comes to love. You're afraid to follow your heart, afraid of what you might lose. But maybe if you could turn that around to uh, uh, instead of thinking what will I lose, why why not try thinking what will I what will I gain um, from this? You know, um, just changing the odd little thing um, to try to to turn your thoughts positive. Um,
you're fantasizing, fantasizing uh, about working together, building something. There you are um, wanting to get the lay of the land. That's what it is about this dream that you have uh, now, whether this is uh, a new dream or a dream or a wish that has come back onto the table. That's what you're thinking of. That's what you're thinking of. And you're conflicted about this. You're conflicted about this bridge. You're conflicted about uh, being able to overcome the obstacles that are in front of you. Um, you're worried um, about the bridge. See the bridge? The bridge brings two people together. It shortens the gap, the distance to bring you together. It is about reconciliation. It is about new opportunities. It assists you in, in getting to the desired destination. Okay? This is what you're conflicted about getting to the desired destination and it, really uh, it is because and that's why there's so much resistance here and it's all because of the ghosts of the past you feel you don't have any informa uh, enough information it's here and it's here but there's more information that's coming okay this card tells me that uh, something is is soon to be revealed to you you don't have this information yet, but something will soon be revealed to you. <clears throat> it's like it's like you're going one way and you got your mind set and then something huge, just like a bolt out of the blue, comes to disrupt that path and stop you from moving forward on that path and, and make you kind of swerve in a different direction. That's what it feels like. Okay, so um, you're going to be very tempted by this person that's entering your life or re-entering your life. And this, uh, this could change, uh, this can change your path and it is a faded event. So, and it is, it is huge, it's big. You know, I, it's almost like it's like uh, somebody who has, uh, they've just, you know, decided to, to push love out of their life. Well, oh, that's not going to happen for me. You know, that's too painful. I've, you know, I've been there, done that. That's it. I'm just going to concentrate on my career and that's it. I'm done with love. And then suddenly love is just shoved right in their face. <laughs> That's what it's going to be like. That's uh, that's kind of how it feels. And so you'll have to decide. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.